Here's your top story tonight. Moydin Pangarka, the man accused of eight-year-old Tasne Panbeik's murder, has a criminal record dating all the way back to the 1980s. According to the National Prosecuting Authority, these include previous convictions for murder, child abuse and kidnapping. Pangarka was today officially charged with Tasne's kidnapping and murder in the Goodwood Magistrates Court. She went missing outside her Elsie's River home two weeks ago and her body was found in a stormwater drain outside Worcester on Wednesday. Our reporter Natalie Malchas has more. Determined to face her daughter's alleged killer, Carmen van Beek stared down the accused in the dock. Moedin Pangakar appeared battered and bruised before the court. He claims he was roughed up by police. He did indicate to the magistrate through his lawyer that he's got some injuries which he says he sustained through the police actions. Uh, those include injuries to his uh, ribs, uh, his neck, his left and right arm, and his left leg, and he struggles to stand up or sit down. But outside the courthouse, Pangakar grievances one little sympathy. We're not, not over Courtney's case. We're not over that yet. And yet, there's so many other cases that also happened. Michaela Williams. It was someone who also was on parole. Here's another one. We don't get time to heal. People who live in gated communities shouldn't speak for people who don't have fences. Our children are prisoners in their own homes. This has to stop. Angry protests spilled over into the nearby suburb of Paro. Crowds targeted places they believed the accused took refuge at in the days leading up to Tasne's death. The more we complain, the less that get done. Let me tell you something now, that this community is celebrating that this is finally happening. The case has been postponed to April 17th to allow the state time to complete its investigation. Natalie Malchas, Cape Town.